Hello people, my beloved friends, what a pleasure to have this chance to outreach to you again. And I do it with such a big heart, you know me already. Now, I don't know how many of you have seen this. Most probably you have seen, but there are some maybe that you haven't seen. And if you've seen this and you want to see it again, why not? Let's um, share this here on this channel as well because it deserves. It deserves to be shared by everyone that has a platform, like myself. As a, it shows so many of the cast of The Chosen. Not everyone. There are some big names that are missing there. I will let you realize who's missing. But they gathered together, some of them, and they reacted to the big finale of season 4. It was a fantastic moment, lots and lots of emotion, lots and lots of heart. Can you imagine these actors that they're working hard, a lot of sweat, a lot of tears, a lot of heart, emotions. Oh, and I'm telling you, it's not easy what they do. And then they see what they've done. They see the result of their work. And uh, obviously uh, they look and uh, m m they um, realize that what they see is not really um, Jonathan Rumi or uh, I don't know, uh, Paras Patel. It's their characters. They are just giving life to those characters. And they look and they see and it's a surreal experience for sure. I know that if I would do that, if I would be actor and I would see myself playing um, a role, a character, it will be a surreal experience for sure. Because over there you're not yourself. I'm not playing Peter Voiko. I am playing whoever um, the director, the uh, screenwriter wants me to play. In their case, they play Jesus, Matthew, John, uh, little james big james and everyone else so uh, that's why i'm saying that this experience uh, of uh, watching themselves delivering uh, absolutely ma amazing phenomenal interpretations it's nothing short of a surreal experience you see uh, this is the key word here surreal so that's what i want we watch together i want to see them once again or maybe this is the first time uh, I want to see them um, touched <laughs> moved commenting a lot you'll see they'll comment a lot on what they see you're gonna hear a lot of uh, wow amazing <laughs> so yes it's a phenomenal uh, it's an emotional moment and I wanted to share it here on this channel up to now I haven't done it this what you're gonna see it's not brand new but every time when we share something again it's like it has a new life attached to it isn't it so uh, without further ado let's take a look and please if you watch tell me what you think about it are you able as well to do uh, a reaction to the big finale of season 4 or a reaction to any episode from season 4 or season 3 or season 2 I think this is a great idea and I should start doing this more a reaction to a certain uh, episode but uh, I'm limited by uh, the length of the material that I can use because obviously an episode from The Chosen is at least 45-50 minutes and now I'll do this I'm now sharing uh, here on this channel such a long piece of video the guys from the chosen team they are so kind that they allow us the youtubers the influencers to use parts of their material but to to uh, react to uh, a whole episode i don't think i don't think it's the right thing to do they even said it please guys don't do this do not put on your platform whole episodes so if it's about reaction, I should be inventive and think about a way. 
Well, there's a will, there's a way English people say it, isn't it? But enough with this comment. Let's take a look and tell me what do you think? Three, two, one. Go. You just know they're headed towards doom. We've come this far. For better or worse, like we're all here in yeah. it together. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. We are here, we're about to watch the last scene of season four, which Ooh. is actually one of my favorite <laughs> scenes to film because we were all together and we didn't have to do very much. Quite iconic, right? Jesus comes in on the donkey. Yep, and the group, they're all heading to Jerusalem. We got so much to talk about. So, I mean, let's get into it. Let's we'll do it. it. Hey, that's you. <laughs> That bag is so resourceful. Mary Poppins' <laughs> bag. <laughs> it's so incredibly sad to think of a mother knowing where she's leading her son to. And the music too, I would say, like you just, you just know they're headed towards doom. <laughs> I'm more. telling you, there's a whole, the entire home in that bag. That was a one take thing. Donkey. 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 The time has come. I must do the will of my father in heaven. Just being friends with Jonathan and knowing what he's going to have to go through, mm. performing this is, and seeing the weight of this role on him is just like devastating, you know? It does take a toll on, on our hearts <laughs> in a lot of ways and but to get to do it with wonderful people that yeah. take care of each other is is everything it's wonderful there's like an honor in doing it and a cost yeah. but you can't oh, yeah. forget the cost but it is an honor to be able to bring this to life no matter what happens this week no matter what you see or feel or think or do i want you to know that in this world I loved you as my own. And I will love you till the end. I was gonna say I just love the shot of Austin and Luke because I think that kind of wraps up everyone's feelings because Nathaniel is kind of in a space of like, yeah, of course we're gonna follow you and let's do this. And Judas, it looks he looks down at one point like, I don't know if you know what you're doing, man, but all right. And, and we literally just got stoned. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's like no, it's with, rocks. Rocks. with rocks. With rocks. <laughs> yeah, throwing at us. With yeah. rocks. <laughs> Yeah, it's like you, we've come this far, for better or worse, like we're all here in it together. This is a good leap. Nice. Look at that, the slow-mo. Smooth. It's like we know where it's going. It's very scary and very um, humbling too, and that's why, you know, like you said, it's just holding on to what we have now. And if one thing you took away from season four is that how much it made you appreciate those in your life and those who are, are here with you still, just like we do now. And so stop it, Liz. <laughs> and so knowing that season four, it's setting us up too. And we become like the biggest advocates of these people existed that we never kind of had this personal relationship with and going and studying and learning and embodying them for so many years, it humanizes mm -hmm. them, mm -hmm. which now I can have appreciation for, like more appreciation for what this truly meant back then. We should announce the names of each disciple that goes past. <laughs> Tamar. Tamar. Mary Magdalene. Andrew. <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> Salome. <laughs> Jesus. 
Thunderstruck. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, music is so good. The sunlit from behind. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Well, that is a wrap. Thank you guys so much for watching with us. If you haven't checked it out yet, season four is now available on Prime, Peacock, and The Chosen app. So go check it out. All the places. Yeah. All the places. I hope you love it. So friends, this was the moment that I wanted to share with you. What do you think? Wasn't it touching? Wasn't it beautiful? Wasn't it absolutely special? Could you feel that emotion? Could you feel their excitement? Oh, uh, oh the palette, <laughs> French people say, of emotions are there, very, very diverse. And uh, every single one of them was deeply touched. And it's understandable, as I said, uh, they, after all, they see something that they, quote unquote, created for all of us to enjoy and be happy. And uh, I want to underline once more that these actors deserve our prayers, deserve our support. And if we have critics, it's not wrong to critique, but let's do it in a constructive way. You know, someone said, uh, and I agree with this someone, I love to be receiving critics because they are helping me to improve and get better in what I do not destructive critics. Many times I do not agree with just encouragement and I've seen on this channel as well praise from many people. Praise for Jonathan, praise for anyone that, that plays, uh, that interprets these extraordinary beautiful moments in The Chosen. But I think as well uh, uh, constructive critique will help a lot because it will help them to recalibrate if they need to, to get better, to uh, capture uh, moments or expressions or emotions that maybe they didn't. Uh, this is how we move forward. Critique with love, with kindness. Sadly, I've seen so much of this critique which is absolutely destructive. But uh, this is another story, because um, this is our human heart. And many times, we, sadly, we're not very good in uh, conveying a message in such a way that that message will be loving and uh, will be received uh, uh, in a proper way. If, I speak this for myself as well, if many times what we say is not received, it might be because we didn't know how to deliver the message, how you deliver your message, how you deliver your critique, how you deliver your suggestion makes a difference between being accepted, so you didn't waste your time, and uh, being rejected, so it was a total waste of time. And that's what happens many times. I see this on my Facebook or on any other social platforms, where you see people divided and people they argue and people they say, things to each other but they waste their time because they do not influence each other with nothing when you bring something in a way that is hateful it is wasting your time and uh, why should we waste our time because as I said many times our time here on this earth it's limited I know I know this is the taboo of this century people don't like to talk about the end but we are all directed towards the end either we like it either we don't either we accept it either we don't all of us we align in our way towards eternity and the difference comes here and i'll speak it loud and clear eternity depends on jesus eternity having jesus means eternity of joy and peace 
death has no power over us. We will shout out with joy just like Apostle Paul. Death, where is your sting? Through Jesus we are forever alive. Or an eternity without Jesus, and that's hell, friends. An eternity without Jesus is uh, pain, anguish and sorrow for eternity. Do you understand eternity? I said that many times from my platforms. Do you understand eternity? Do we understand eternity as we hear on this side of heaven, <laughs> which is very dark and broken? And here we will never be able to understand eternity. Something that has no beginning and no end. But when we will be there in eternity, let's make sure that we will be with Jesus. So there will be everlasting joy, peace and happiness that doesn't depend on happenings. God bless you all. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And until next time, stay close to Jesus. Thank you for watching.